Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about the REST APIs in Mongo. So here we are going to create the login and the register API for the Mongo. So let's begin the tutorial because basic of the app that is login and the register. So let's start the tutorial. So first of all, you need what kind of packages for the login and register that is the bycrypt.js, bodyparser.env, express, json web token and mongoose okay so these packages you need to install first right so i will tell you which kind of these packages are so let's go to my this one and pm pycrypt npm so you need to install this one npm optimize bycrypt javascript with zero dependency compatible with this security for the security like uh, uh, you can say the password so we can use the bycrypt right Next Mortibex, next npm that we are using the body parser that is very important for the APIs. You can see that body parser npm. So middleware it will pass incoming request body. So uh, so it, that is required by the body parser. It's act as a middleware parsing incoming request bodies in the middleware before you hand alerts av available under the require body dot pop. Right? Suppose uh, I am logged in right i have a token so that token i need to pass somewhere else so that i can fetch the records accordingly right so you can see that we have weekly downloads like million of down you no know, million lakhs of downloads are there Mil okay so body parser we required it so you can see that uh, body parser and here we can see that the examples are also there maybe might be you can see that this is you can reset the response header how to return the data url encoded so we require that whether the post data or get data or json data we need to send it to the apis so this is body parser required for it okay next we are going to use the dot env file that is for the env configuration okay for the e so, so that it can pick up from the env right so so you need the dot env okay so this kind of details that we have to use in the configurations files right so yeah that's it next we have express dot express that is for the handling the browser express npm for the routes and everything we are uh, going to use you can for an opinion list web framework so like for the rest apis to use and all so this is the routes that we have to create to assess all this we need to use the express now we have json web token for the uh, json suppose uh, i want token you can say jwt so that json web token we need to use so, so that it will return a token so that we have to use it in our api so that to validate it right so this is jwt correct so jwt that is named as json web tokens right next we have to use the mongoose for the mongo queries and all this so mongoose npm okay so all these modules you need to install right and uh, this is mongodb so if, uh, first of all for this you need to pass the queries and all this too. so you need to connect to the database and all this so you need to use the mongoose and you can define the model and something like this okay so these all modules we need to add into the uh, you need to install it before doing uh, anything so node modules we need to install after this we need to go to the next next creation of the files that is let's move to the files uh, you have to create the app.js routes right and uh, models so models routes app.js that is the main file that we have to use okay so let's open the models we have the user models right so here I need to use the user model. So here I'm taking the name, username, email, password, and email verified, whether it is true or false. Okay. So we need to set, this is a, you can see a, mod, a model structure. So we, this, this names we have to use, right? Next, we have to create the routes. Okay. So in the routes, we have user routes. So we have to go with the routes. So you can see that we have created the rest of the these are the functions right router.post validate router.post sign up right 
and uh, you can also do the one way also i guess that is called the controllers that uh, you can draw define the routes over here and you can bypass the controller and uh, you can um, so that that would gonna be a well defined structure i guess okay so you can separate it with the controllers also right so this is the whole flesh of the route so we have the routes like uh, let's check out the sign up okay in sign up we are taking the parameter from the user name username email password and confirm password right after this we are checking right whether the username is empty or the email is empty if it is already used so we will add the check that is called check user uniqueness whether email exists or not okay after that email validate email it is validate valid valid email or not password is not going to be short and password do not match okay after that we are returning and generate the password and save it to the database new user save function will save the data okay so new user we have creating our object and pa by passing all the data and we will save this new user dot password hash and save function and this is the sign up okay so let's check out let's run the project okay so first of all app.js is very important so I, let me introduce the app.js so we have used express mongoose body parser path that is by default dot env for the configurations of the file so here we are using the routes and config.js so here we have used the mongodb uri okay so we can change it to uh mongo mongodb okay so we are going to use the mongodb as a database okay so this is mongodb uh, if it is connected then it show the console.log connected okay and let express we have then use the body parser that the pop url encoded and it will return always the json okay so you, here whenever we have to use we need to allow ss control allow region all and headers content type accept authorization and everything put put post delete and we are using app api users okay so this is the api part that api users then slash login slash register we are going to use okay so let's run the project npm start so uh, uh, um, you can also you can see that the cannot find the modules in app.js that's not a big deal if it is not there let's um, run the mongo mongo d restart we can going to use it where is terminal so first mongo d start okay then npm start or you can say uh, this app.js node app.js you can also do the same so it will say that uh, mongo server started at port number 500 and connected to the mongodb okay let's uh, i have already installed the robo mongo for the ui perspective okay so i have opened the robo mongo so basic modern so what we have the mongo right so we have the mongo users or collections we have user table is created when we have run the collections so user table has been created and let's in uh, let's do the registration part so let's go to the local host local host 500 thousand what is the routes that we have let's go and check user routes that we have the app.js what is this is api users api users 
and here sign up okay make the request post and make the body URL encode or form data if I want to send it what the errors they are returning name username email password confirm password is required so I'm going to paste uh, take the example and add this name username email and password confirm password these are the fields that we need to send okay so let's add the name uh, Rajni Khant the name Rajni 90 email Rajni 90 at the rate mailinator com one two three four five six we can make it like uh, admin one two three hash one two three dollar is copy this and paste this send this field is required name so let's check which form the data they are returning in config.js so let's check to the user routes so here we are going with the required dot body dot name so let's check with uh, whether the required dot body is not name is not log and you want you to change the json stack required dot body okay save it run it Or you can do it with the uh, node mon also. Same thing. So just copy the bulk edit, all this. Make it draw. If I I go and check that in the console, required is empty object. That means it is not required in the form data. So let's oh, go and check with the JSON body. have added a JSON body right so take care of that we are going to take the object So this we have created let's send it you can see that we have a response success let's check one record is inserted Rajnikanth and this email is verified false we will make it uh, right now it's true email verified we can say true and save it for now let's log in so this is the API for the register let's make it a login API so what the data they are sending users login okay so if i go and check with the login so what the login api says so here we have login what we are receiving username and the password right there are the proper checks if there is no errors then from the database we are going to find with the username if it is error then through error if it is user boolean then we will bycrypt the password compare then we will check the password if it is matched if it is ma is match right then we will return the username user id and config secret and return with the token success else invalid credentials invalid username and password okay so let's check so login and um, we will come up with the body raw json
we will take the previous one that is the uh, this one username and password username and password username and password as yes, we will going to delete it okay send it unexpected token okay okay this is not to be there send no search file directly app client build index pre it's just a login API let's check what exactly they have done app.js so they are using client build index.html okay then we will uh, send a uh, uh, response dot send there is a method I guess then we can pass it like console.log we don't require it okay so let's go and check okay let me check with the uh, routes routes what it suggest login slash login okay and uh, object.jesus or find boolean match password return invalid credentials i think that should be working that api should work accordingly Hold. Let me check whether they have got getting in this or not. Wire dot body. restart it any error is throwing the data is not showing that means it is not hitting the same path it is post API So you can see that the token and the success is coming in out, right? And uh, you will see that we are successfully logged in. So you can use this token and act as a middleware and you will use it anywhere, right? So this is the login and register API in the Node.js. So anybody has any query or if they want any function, just write me in a comment box. And uh, before you can, at least you can try writing down the code. If you have any issue you are getting, just let me know. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.